Hello ladies and gentlemen, and you join me now in Joe Macari, where we will be going around and looking at the beautiful cars in this dealership. First off here behind me, we have this beautiful 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 Beast in this lovely purple color here. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around and I'll show you properly. So ladies and gentlemen, we have this beautiful Lamborghini Huracan Performante 5.2 litre naturally aspirated beast in this lovely purple with those lovely accent colors this purple so this car was just washed by the beautiful members of Joe Macari and it is absolutely outstandingly good looking it has that full exposed forged carbon fiber and those beautiful goldish bronze sort of rims and those purple calipers there that lovely Italian flag going along the side here and the car the forged carbon fiber insides with those forged carbon fiber flappy paddles that beautiful purple stitching in the interior around the steering wheel That beautiful front bumper and that front splitter with the carbon fiber absolutely looks mean. This car is so good looking and so beautiful. This is a one of a kind car. I've taken many photos. So if you do want to check them out, make sure you go to my YouTube channel uh, linked in the description down below. My YouTube channel, my Instagram linked down in the description down below, evil underscore automotive. And you can check me out on Instagram as well. All right, let's move on. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and now we are stood just right in front of a McLaren Senna here, which we are able to go ahead and take a seat right into. So we're gonna go ahead and step into this McLaren Senna, the four, uh, yeah, the four litre twin turbocharged V8. We're gonna go ahead and step in this beautiful beast, this satin pearlescent, this like pearlescent black. We're gonna go ahead and step inside of it. Let's go ahead. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so there's no tricky side skirts you have to step over. Let's oh, sketchfully get inside this very, very expensive race car. Oh, um, there's a Bulgarian man at the window. <laughs> Anyways, I'm now sat in this McLaren Senna. Oh my god. Um, do I pull down the window? Do I pull? The, do I shut the door or no? Okay, and now I'm shutting the door of a McLaren Senna. Oh my gosh. Now this beautiful center console here with the drive neutral and reverse and this beautiful carbon fiber dash with the beautiful carbon fiber around the Alcantara steering wheel and the full carbon foot. You know, you know, and there's now all this carbon fiber along here and the beautiful center badge along ground there. This car is absolutely amazing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the dash come on. That's beautiful. Can you? Okay, so now we are stood outside this beautiful 
McLaren Senna here in this pearlescent black that we have full access to. I've now been inside it, as you guys saw in the previous clip, and now we are outside of it. Um, there's a random body bag there. Anyways, so now we are stood outside this car and we have this beautiful, massive center wing with the carbon fiber. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around for you and show you what uh, this whole car looks like. Okay, so now we have this full carbon fiber along the wing here with this beautiful, beautiful rear end and that lovely expo uh, the exposed carbon fiber going around the back. This is like a matte carbon fiber, so it's very, very nice looking. And it's going around the back here, around the rear bumper round on the rear diffuser as well and those lovely free tip exhaust that lovely interior this is going to be make for a great picture those two doors open and again along the front here that front bumper there and that front spur unfortunately no frank canards on this car but here you go it wraps all the way around the front headlights and the obviously the carbon fiber tray around the trunk tray as well and the orange in the insides there with the orange, uh, the orange calipers and the orange, orange center cap locks, orange center caps. Running on 315, 315 millimeter um, rear tires. So it's not extremely big, but you know, they're, they're reasonably large tires. And obviously the carbon fiber side skirts as well. And the large amounts of carbon fiber in the interior as well like i mentioned and the carbon fiber full carbon fiber racing bucket seats as well with the full four point harness uh yeah i think there's option for a four point harness as well but yeah and um, more carbon fiber along here and that 4.2 liter twin turbo charged no not 4.2 4 liter twin turbo charged v8 okay so now we have this beautiful yellow Lamborghini Diablo. Now this is a special car here. So this yellow V12 Diablo, I believe these are V12s. Um, if not, then they're V8s. But this, pretty sure it's a V12. Anyway, this yellow Diablo here sitting in the Joe Macari showroom is beautiful. Let's go ahead and do a little tour, shall we? So this Lamborghini Diablo sat in the Joe Macari showroom is absolutely magnificently looking in this lovely yellow and here you can see the Diablo Roadster so this is even nicer it's the Diablo Roadster as well and that's the roof there it sits in this little area here and that gated manual I believe these are they are five speeds but this this is magnificent However, I don't like that steering wheel. It's not amazing, but it's fine. And those lovely tires as well at the back and that lovely rear end. That is lovely. Okay, so now we are stood out, outside this Ferrari 999 GTO, which funny thing is, there's two of these 599s and they are very, very, Sort of similar spec. However, one is right-hand drive, one is left-hand drive. This one here is the right-hand drive. And this one also has yellow stitching interior, whereas this one has, I believe it's white interior. Well, white stitching interior. And this is the left-hand drive one. But that beautiful rear end there and that lovely GTO badge and obviously this Titan 4S which no one likes but we have this one here with the white and the blue stripe um, and then I believe this one is also the white yeah and this one is also the white and blue stripe but these are huge V12s and there's two of them. So honestly, this is, this is insane. This is um, a lot of money sitting right here. That's a lot of money. That's also a lot of money. 
Um, it ain't easy trying to point at things which aren't actually directly in front of you or behind you. But this is something. Um, and then back there, there is the Jaguar XJ220S and the Ferrari F50. Um, back there, uh, somewhere back there, there's a um, the Huracan Performante with the purple, which you guys saw me review. Um, and then there's two cars that we've had previously, it was the Laf and the Monza. Um, and something I also now need to review as well, which is this Pista, um, which we've seen in Ferrari down in South Kensington before, um, which we've actually sat in as well. But a lot of the, unfortunately, a lot of the dealership videos I film, um, down in London I don't really publish so you probably haven't seen it which is a shame but obviously I post these because these are very good cars um, lots of money in this showroom but uh, another thing we need to go quickly check out um, which we're probably going to do now is this Porsche uh, GT3 RS so let's go ahead and do that okay so now you watch me stand in front of this Porsche GT3 RS with its four liter flat six, which we have been given the all clear to go ahead and get in. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Which I'm not gonna do on camera because that's gonna be tricky. So let's, let's go do this off camera. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and very tricky oh god that didn't sound good we're gonna go ahead and hop inside this porsche that sounded loud which we now sat in this beautiful Porsche and we're gonna go ahead and put our foot on the clutch. Damn. That is honestly like trying to boot a brick wall open. Damn. But it's pretty nice interior. That's a nice little gear stick. That's nice. 